Today we are going to be reading Rufus Goes to School by Kim T. Griswell and illustrated by Valerie Gorbachev. Rufus Goes to School Every day, Rufus Leroy Williams III turns the pages of his favorite book. He looked at every picture. He made up stories to go with them, but he could not read the words. Rufus knew just what to do. He would go to school and learn to read. But first, he needed a backpack. Early the next morning, Rufus scuttled down the street to school. He peeked through the front door. Then he trotted down the hall to the principal's office. He was greeted by the principal's secretary. Principal Lipid's secretary knocked on his door. There's a pig to see you. Rufus stepped forward. My name is Rufus Leroy Williams III, he said. I have a backpack and I am ready for school. The principal shook his head. No pigs in school. Why not, asked Rufus. Because pigs track mud in the halls, said Principal Lipid. They turn their drawings into airplanes. They play leapfrog in class. And they start food fights in the cafeteria. Rufus frowned. But I have a backpack. Makes no difference, said Principal Lipid. He showed Rufus to the door. Rufus Leroy Williams III really wanted to go to school. And he knew just what he needed. A lunchbox. Right before lunchtime, the secretary poked her head into Principal Lipid's office. The pig is back, she whispered. My name is Rufus Leroy Williams III, he said. I have a backpack and a lunchbox. I am ready for school. The principal folded his arms. No pigs in school. Why not, asked Rufus. Because pigs knock over the block towers, said Principal Lipid and they hide under the teacher's desk. Pigs draw stick figures on the chalkboard. He wagged his finger at Rufus. And they chase their classmates during recess. But I have a backpack and a lunchbox, Rufus frowned. Makes no difference, said Principal Lipid, and he waved Rufus out the door. Rufus Leroy Williams III really, really wanted to go to school, and he knew just what he needed. A blanket. During nap time, the secretary opened Principal Lippitt's door. Sir? Rufus Leroy, Leroy Williams III rushed past her. I have a backpack, a lunchbox, and a blanket. Now I'm really ready for school. The principal sighed. I told you, no pigs. Wait, said Rufus. I will never ever blow bubbles in my milk or finger paint on my classmates. I will not stand on my head during nap time or leave nose prints on the windows. And I will come to school every day. Sorry, the principal shook his head. No pigs in school. But I have a backpack, a lunchbox, and a blanket, said Rufus. Is that all? asked the principal. Rufus frowned. What else could he need for school? I have this. Rufus held up his favorite book, and I want to learn to read it. Ah, Principal Lipid smiled. That makes a difference. He escorted Rufus out of his office and down the hall. This is R Rufus Leroy Williams III, Principal Lipid announced as they entered the classroom, and he will be joining your class. Hooray, shouted the boys and girls. Rufus Leroy Williams III put away his backpack, his lunchbox, his blanket, and, all, and his favorite book. He was ready for school. Rufus loved learning. The ABCs, especially the letter P. He loved learning the one, two, threes. He loved lunchtime and nap time. But Rufus loved story time most of all. 
Because it gave him room to dream. There he is dreaming. The end. I hope you enjoyed. Rufus Goes to School.